That was honestly incredible. I'm gonna say yes. It's a yes from me. Yes from me. A billion percent yes. And here is gorgeous Leah. Oh my god, what's it like watching that back? Oh, it's Amazing. It's so weird seeing myself on the Britain's Got Talent stage. I can imagine because obviously you've watched this show since you were a kid. Yeah. So was it completely surreal in your house on Saturday evening? Yeah, it was. Oh, uh, I didn't even. I couldn't even get the fact that that was me. Oh my goodness. And what have the last five, six days been like for you? They've been absolutely crazy busy. Everyone is always telling me that I was really good and give me oh. hugs and everything. And it's it's. So it's like what I've dreamed of my whole life. And tell me, Monday morning, you were back in school. Were you in school? Yeah, I'm in school in Ratto College. And you're gonna, you're in second year, finishing yeah. up soon. Yeah. And what was it like? Because obviously you probably had to keep this secret from teachers, from friends. Yeah, it was, it was really hard to keep it a secret. Um, and when I told them, there, everyone was so excited. Yeah, um, because this is quite a long process. Like what we saw on Saturday night was a culmination of something that's been going on for months and months. So yeah. when did this actually start this journey for you? I did my first audition in Birmingham in um, February. But actually Gosh. before that, I sent in, the first tape I sent in was between September and October. Wow, and then you got special news on Christmas Eve though, didn't you? Yeah. Tell us exactly, what did they tell you on Christmas Eve? They rang my mum and said, oh, um, we'd like Leah to come to England to audition. In wow, yeah. and that was your first time in England? Yeah, yeah, that was. Oh my God, it's a yeah. lot to, lot to uh, deal with uh, first time around. Um, I really think your brother Daniel won the whole nation yeah. over. I mean, everyone was just, you know, adoring your performance, but even Ant himself of Ant and Deck fame tweeted, the brother pushed me over the edge. So <laughs> tell us about Daniel himself. Um, Daniel is also into performing on stage. He does singing and acting and dancing too with me. Oh my God. And um, he's a bit of a devil sometimes, but he's really <laughs> cute. Oh, really? <laughs> Well, he looks like butter wouldn't <laughs> melt from what we saw on Saturday <laughs> night. Would. But he's obviously a great supporter of yours. Yeah, though, he is. He? Yeah, he's. I'd say my number one fan. If you, yeah. Oh my goodness! And how have your parents reacted with your newfound fame? They're both very proud of me. Yeah. I can imagine. So tell us how the journey for you has begun in terms of like, I mean, this was not your first rodeo. You've obviously performed before. You're such a composed performer. <laughs> so how long have you been performing? What kind of stuff do you do? Um, I've been performing in shows, pantos, um, concerts and charity events since I was um, six or seven. And actually people at home should Google this on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I absolutely adore this performance of yours. It's Cosette and Les Mis. Yeah. It's absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Thank so you. So go on, tell us a bit more about that. When was that performance? Um, that was this November. <sighs> November just gone. Um, I was um, a variety concert with my stage school, Addicted to Dance, which wow. is in Rathout. We, so we um, train every Monday. Oh yeah. my goodness. And can you walk down the street in Rathout? What's that been like for you? Um, I haven't really got so much time to walk around the streets. I've been very busy with interviews and the like. I yeah. can imagine. So Simon Cowell gets up on his feet, you get a standing ovation from all four judges, including Simon Cowell, <laughs> who says a billion percent yes, you are better than you even think you are. I think your attitude as well sort of won him over because you were so humble going in there, weren't you? Um, well, it wasn't like meant to be like that, but I've been told I was, yeah. Yeah, and also the way you said, you know, I think there's always someone better than you. Yeah, I mean, well, that's true. Like, there always is going to be someone better than you. You can't do anything about it. You just have to be your best. But you feel that sort of, you know, makes you more competitive because you're constantly striving because you know you're yeah. going to be measured against yeah. someone else. That's incredible. Um, we are wishing, we are backing you all the way. We are so excited and Thank we've been you. so excited to have you in studio Thank today. You. Um, you reminded me of a Charlotte Church or a Catherine Jenkins. Oh, uh, who's your idol? Is there Catherine someone? Jenkins would be, really? yeah. And have you, you haven't met her? In no, I haven't met her, but I went to see her concert three, three years ago, three and a half years ago, oh her Christmas goodness. concert in the O2. Yeah. Um, so what is the big dream for you? Obviously, it would be amazing to win Britain's Got Talent, but I yeah. think there's even bigger things on the horizon for you. What would be the, the big goal? Um, my main goal would probably be to pursue a career in classical and musical theatre singing. Amazing. Um, some people say that you can't do both, but I think that you can. Like, you don't seem 14. Well, you were 15. When was your birthday? Um, in April. You were, oh, what date? 
the third. I'm the ninth. You see, performers born in April. Well, no, I can't believe I put myself in the same bracket. Excuse me. <laughs> Leah, it's been a joy to meet you Thank and you. your mum, Karen, for joining us in the studio. It's Thank been you. so great. Obviously, you can't say how far you progress, but we will be glued to our screens. You can, of course, tune into Britain's Got Talent this Saturday at 8 p.m. to see how Leah here gets on. Yeah, well,